when it comes to creating a regular expression to match the path, the file name, and the extension, one tool I find very useful is regex101. So this is how I typically work, right? And the beginning of a string, the little hat character, and then the end of the string. Why doesn't it match anything? Well, you haven't told it what you're looking for. You could say one character, or any type of character, lots of occurrences. And you can see the entire sentence, the entire thing is being matched, okay? So let's go in there and put in the backslashes. And then a dot star. You see the way the entire thing is being matched again? So let's go in here and put some grouping characters around them. So we're getting closer. This is just like in the video of last week, okay? But how about we say dot star and we want the dot for the extension, and then we put the dollar symbol there. So remove that. And then we match the three letters by saying anything. The beginning of the line, any character, any any type of character, any number. The backslash will get you down to here. Dot star will get that. Backslash dot points here. Dot star means any character. So we can do some grouping like that. So if you look over here, we see group three is txt. Then we have ddd, the file name and then the full path. So that's how I do this kind of stuff. Okay, so now that you have your group one, two, and three, we wanna put them into buffers. So I've already done some of the work. So the way you do it is this, a question mark, an angle bracket like that, okay? So they're usually hard to find on the keyboard, so I usually put them in place like that. And we go the file, and then we go the extension. Group the path, the file, the extension, txt, ddd. Now you can, once you've done this using a regular expression inside Tosca, you can actually refer to the path, the file, and the extension as buffers. Really handy. If you have any questions, give me a shout, comment below. Cheers.